I've learned that a pint is two and a half cups. <laughs> Some of the conversions have stuck in my head. I think in the 50s, it would have been considered vaguely exotic. And I think that would be the paprika and the caraway seeds. Yeah. yeah. And the soured milk. I And I remember taking the steaming liver from the sheep carcass from the pine tree where it was hanging up to mum on a plate and all and the brains would be on the side. So, you know, and the sheep's head soup. We just used it all. I didn't need it, but it was used. It skipped where to put something in, in the recipe. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we had to sort of manipulate it a bit to work out what you added when. So a couple of them are still, it probably relies on you constantly cooking and so you, you just know, you just know how much to add. That's right, when I was making the pate, um, same thing, skipped out a couple of things like when to put in the brandy and the cream and blah blah blah. Don't know if that was because the recipe was quite foreign to the chefs or an editing thing. It's stuff that's in the cupboard. Like it's not stuff that you have to go out and specially buy. Um, so it's more or less you can come home and or you can jump in the kitchen and decide that's what I'm going to cook. And you've basically got it. It'd be a bit of exotica caraway seed. Woohoo. Do you want scissors? Because I can't open those packets anymore. 